investment and more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. You might think that I'm going to send this because it's the person in a horror movie who trips and falls cliche, but I know that this is a spoof of horror movies and I won't fall for that trap because I'm a goddamn professional. Anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, here's a 14 cent deconstruction of this insurance company's horror spoof. Okay, okay, stop for a moment. What the f*** is this moon? This is like if Waxing Crescent and Waning Gibbous had a kid and we found out Waning's mom got pregnant while seeing both Waxing's dad and Waning's dad 25 years ago. And because of that little secret, Waxing and Waning had no idea they were brother and sister. Actually, no. That secret was out long ago. It was the whole reason their parents got divorced. Anyway, look at that f***ed up moon! Also, what the f*** is this blue light shining from the woods? It sure is f not from that f***ing moon! That's out of the attic. No, in the basement. That's bedroom closetist. Why can't we just get in the running car? Discount Brittany Daniel. Are you crazy? That's hilarious. I mean, truly, know that I'm laughing. But if this commercial spoofing horror movies knew a f***ing thing about the genre, they'd know that the car never would have started in the first place. Dumb kids in horror movies try to get in the car all the time. But either the car won't start because it's a movie, or the horror villain pulled out some vague looking wires to ensure that the car is never a factor. Also, who started the car? Did the villain do that? Did he siphon the gas and leave just enough to start the car and give the heroes hope? Because let me tell you, if he did that, it ruins your joke about them not getting into the running car. Maybe they're smarter than you give them credit for. The type behind the chainsaws. Even in the most robust murder economies, I can't imagine you ever needing this many chainsaws. How do you even choose which one you want when you're murdering young adults? Do you know how much fuel this would require to keep all the chainsaws ready? Probably not as much as I think, but that's a waste, psycho killer. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely no thought went into this guy's killer mask. In a second here, he's gonna shake his damn head at how stupid these kids are, but I'm eye-rolling his fashion choices. At least put a Betty Boop sticker on it or something? Also, if the kids were running from the killer, how'd he get in front of them so fast to hide in this shed? And did he know they'd be here? Hard to imagine a killer so hellbent on murdering everyone in sight that they would stop to eye roll emoji the stupid kids. I mean, yeah, the killer is just doing what we're all doing and wait a minute, does that mean that deep down inside, we're all murderers? That's deep, Geico. Very deep. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. I'm hearing a chainsaw in the background, but I'm not seeing a killer. And while he could still be behind the wall of chainsaws, why is he just standing there revving the chainsaw and not at least very slowly walking outside to chase the kids? Even a bad horror movie would do that. This is supposed to be another bad choice, but is the cemetery any worse than anywhere else at this kill farm? The villain is well defined as mask wearing and chainsaw wielding, and he's not a ghost or someone who can reanimate the dead, because if he could, you would have shown that 30 second commercial with time constraints. You would have shown that. Also, building a giant glowing Geico display in your yard really hurts the resale value. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also, subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos and easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed Void in Tennessee.